Hello, in this video I'm going to show you my favourite knot. Um, this can be for attaching a hook or swivel or pretty much anything that's got a hole in it. Um, the Palomar knot, as it's known, um, it's not a difficult knot to tie, but a lot of people get tripped up on it. And especially people who fly fish, who want to attach flies using a Palomar knot. A lot of the diagrams and animations online really don't show you a convenient way to tie it when you've got a, a dressed hook like a fly or, or possibly even a, a lure with quite a lot of busy sort of uh, body to it. Um, I'm going to show you that wrong way first. Um, so don't worry about following me how to tie the knot because this is not how you do it. Um, but uh, one thing I will say, it hinges on you threading through twice. And I'm going to get this in early. A lot of people say to me, what if you can't fit the line through the hook eye twice? That's a really good indicator that you've mismatched the thickness of line to the size of hook or swivel you're using. If it won't fit through twice, there's probably something wrong there. You know, if you can't fit your line twice through the eye of a fly, that means you're fit fishing with some pretty heavy line for the size of fly. Um, so, assuming you can fit things through twice, I'm doing you the wrong version here, so I'll just tie this up, put that through there. Now, a lot of diagrams just start tightening here, and they've got this loose loop coming up the back of the hook like this. And in practice, that's not very slippy, and it starts to bite too soon. Or, if you can get it to tighten up, all of this loop is going into the dressing of a fly. If you imagine hackles and feathers sticking out, it all ends up just in a horrible tangle. So that's not how we want to tighten our Palomar knot up. And if you've searched around and, and sort of found these kind of things online, if you're a fly fisher particularly, you'll have seen the diagrams and animations and think, that's not for me. So I'm going to show you now the right way or my way to do a Palomar knot. And this is really particularly good if you're a fly fisher. So it doesn't matter which way through the hook we go. It can be either way. Um, the knot's pretty symmetrical when it's tightened down. So I'm going in and back out. Now, the better you get at tying this knot, the less of a tag end you're going to have at the end. But what I would say, when you're starting out, allow yourself a good extra few inches of tippet material when you're rigging up, just so you've got a bit of space to tie your Palomar knot. Giving yourself a nice bit of sort of working room so you can see what's going on can be handy. Um, but as I say, the more repetitions you do this, the tighter and tighter you can get with your grip and the less and less tippet you're going to use to tie the knot. So that's gone through and back through the hook. So we've got this doubled over length. We're going to form an overhand knot. So basically take that around and put it back through itself. And what we've got there is an overhand knot with the hook sat in this double piece. It's very simple from there. We're going to reach through this loop and grab the hook. Now, in a lot of the diagrams, they kind of grab it from the back. And that's where you can go wrong. You want to go for the eye and the rest of the hook and kind of grip it. Then when you pull, you want to pull all of the knot. So it kind of slides up and you stroke it up. So we get this kind of effect and the hook's through now and all of the tangle of sort of line that's in the knot is clear of the dressing. I'm going to do that again one more time just so we can see the kind of grip that you need to use. So we double over it and we tie an overhand knot. Very simple. Then when we go through, we're reaching and we're going to grab the eye of the hook and you kind of want to shield the hook with the rest of your hand. So that when we pull this bit, we can actually stroke that knot up and get it well clear of the hook. And you can stroke this up a couple of times so we can do that, then pull both tag ends so it slides down. And if you want to get it really neat, you can stroke it back up again and pull down. And as you get into that final bit of a pull, you can even give it one more. And obviously if it was nylon, we'd be moistening that at that point and pulling down tight. When it's pulled down tight, it doesn't matter. It's absolutely symmetrical. So it wouldn't matter if that was the tag end or that was the tag end. It's the same sort of symmetrically. So I'm going to cut that one because it's the shortest. That's what will be the tag end. 
and it might look a bit bulky but we are using sort of six mil paracord so uh, it's going to look quite bulky but that's the palomar knot it's a very very strong knot i've yet to find something stronger than that and i would happily get my chosen tippet and go head to head with anyone i'll tie this at one end you tie your preferred knot on your on the same hook at the other end and we'll give it a pull if that broke and you're not staying intact, I'd give you £20. If you can find me, take that challenge with anyone, anywhere. Um, because for me, if I could find a knot that's stronger than that, I would gladly pay £20. Um, it wouldn't be a loss in my eyes. You know, I'd, I'd feel like a winner for, for learning an even stronger knot. I've yet to find one that beats this. Pitson is very close, the Pitson knot, which Paul's going to show you in another video. And... I'll happily, I'll happily use the pits on, on a lot of occasions. Uh, but if I absolutely want the most strength out of any material, whether it's fluorocarbon or nylon or copolymer, it's the Palomar for me to hooks or swivels. Um, if you think you've got a stronger knot, drop us a comment below. Um, you know, be prepared to put your money where your mouth is. Um, give this a try. As I say, the best, the best way to try any knot is to tie this at one end and make a mirror image of it but with your knot on at the other end give them a pull see which breaks first if you've got a knot that breaks a properly tied palomar knot i want to know about it so either drop us a comment or look me up in person and you could win 20 quid um if you want to see more of this kind of thing uh don't forget to subscribe uh drop us a like and yeah i'll join you next time or maybe it'll be paul and we'll show you another fishing knot <laughs>